everyone, my name is Allie and today we are going to be doing a breath and stretch class. So this class is all about tapping into our breath, expanding our awareness of our body and getting into those tighter parts uh, in our hips and upper back to open ourselves up and feel a lot better. So to start off today's practice, we're going to tap into our breath. I invite you to bring one hand to your heart and the other to your belly, or you can also have both hands resting on your belly, but just find some sort of connection with your body. And we're gonna start by taking a deep breath in through the nose, feeling our belly expand all the way up into our chest. And then exhale, side up through your mouth. Awesome, we'll do two more just like that. Feel free to close your eyes. Deep breath in through the nose. Belly expands all the way up to the chest. And then exhale, side up through your mouth. The last one, big deep breath in. Feel our shoulders draw down our back as we exhale, side out. Awesome. And now we're going to work with even breath. So trying to breathe in for three to four seconds on our inhale, pausing for one or two seconds at the top, and then exhaling for three to four seconds. Breathing in and out through the nose. So inhaling for one, two, three, four, and exhaling for one, two, three, four. In and out through the nose, and for one, two, three, four. Exhale for one, two, three, four. Awesome, so we're gonna try to breathe like that throughout the entire practice. Whenever we get into a new posture, coming back to our breath, our breath is what allows us to go deeper into our postures. So making sure that we are bringing our attention to it, and focusing on it, um, and really kind of tuning into our bodies. Awesome. So on our next inhale, we'll loop our shoulders up towards our ears and then roll them down our back. Doing a couple circles up towards the ears and then down the back, sitting up nice and tall. And if you find it's hard to sit cross-legged, you can always come onto your knees if that's better for you, or bring a little cushion under your seat. Just bring the earth up a little bit closer to you. All right, and then we'll bring the shoulders circling forwards now, so up towards the ears and rounding them forward. Just kind of opening up the shoulders here. Continuing that even breathing. Awesome. Then we'll just drop our left ear towards our left shoulder. Bring our chin forward nice and slow here. All the way to the other side so our right ear comes to our right shoulder. And then back through center, chin comes to chest, over to the left shoulder, and then back again. One more time, evening up both sides, over to the left. Awesome, and then over to the right. Come back up to center and we're going to find our way into a tabletop position so you want to come with your knees under your hips and your shoulders over your wrists we want to make sure that we're grounding down through the knuckle parts of our fingers we're not dumping any weight into our wrists nice long spine here making sure that we're keeping our head in line with our spine and we're not dropping the head or having any additional weight hanging there and then when we're ready, we're going to go through a couple cat cows here just to warm up the spine. So inhale, drop the belly, open up the chest, shine your heart forward. 
and then exhale, begin to round through the spine, navel comes up. Try to sync up this movement with that even breath. So on the inhale, we're slowly coming into our cow pose. And the movement starts from the tailbone. So on the exhale, rounding into cat. Tailbone first. Shoulder blades come up towards the sky. If you want to take a couple minutes or moments here just to kind of circle one way in your wrists and then the other. Breathing deep here. Kind of exploring this posture, whatever way works for you. Awesome. We'll go through one more cycle. So inhaling, coming into our cat pose. And then exhaling, rounding back into our cow. Awesome. And then when you come back to your neutral tabletop, we're going to come into puppy pose, which is going to help open up our shoulders, especially if we're um, you know, sitting all day at a desk, we can tend to round in. So this is going to really help open up the chest. Start to walk your hands forward nice and easy here. You might just come onto your forearms today. That's okay. Um, and and kind of hang up here. But if you're feeling like you could use a little bit more opening in the chest, you can begin to walk your hands even farther forward and start to bring your chest down towards the mat, keeping our hips up over our knees. You can either let your forehead rest on the mat here and breathe, or if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch into the shoulders and everything feels good, then you can bring your chin to the mat. And again, once we find our posture, we find the place that we want to be at, we tune back into our breath. So we make sure that we're taking the even inhales and exhales. We'll take two more breaths here, in through the nose, and out through the nose. And then on your next inhale, slowly beginning to push yourself back up into our table. Maybe take a little cat-cow here just to reset. Awesome. And then we're going to find our way into downward facing dog. So walk your hands about a hand forward and then begin to curl your toes under and shoot your hips up towards the sky. We want to keep a really, really deep bend in our knees here. So we're drawing our belly towards our thighs. It's okay if your uh, heels don't touch the earth. Uh, one day they might get there. So just working with where you're at today, you might walk your dog out here. So pedaling one foot and the other looking under one shoulder, just, you know, easing out any kinks here, any tension, making sure we're grounding again through our knuckles, we're not dumping any weight into our wrists. And then when you're ready, you can inhale, reach your right leg up nice and strong, and then exhale, we're gonna bring that right knee behind our right wrist, flexing our right foot to, to protect the knee, and we're coming into half pigeon here. So um, you, you might be able to get your shin parallel with the top of your mat. I'm not there yet. It's okay if you're not either. Um, but we're working to bring our, our shin um, as close as we can to the top of our mat, but it's okay if it's on an angle here. We're flexing that right foot. We're gonna take a peek back at our left leg, make sure it's nice and straight. Take a deep breath in here. And then exhale, you can start to fold over that right thigh. You might stay up on your forearms here. You might even still stay up on your hands. That's okay. You might come all the way down to your chest, getting into the hips here, making sure that right foot stays flexed. You can relax your forehead down if that works for you. And then reconnecting to our breath. So our hips tend to hold a lot of emotional energy. So it's where we store a lot of the, the hard things that go on throughout our days. 
Um, so it's important to just be super kind and gentle with yourself here. Use your breath as a tool to release deeper into the posture. Notice that things may feel a bit uncomfortable, right? It might feel a little tight, um, but we use our breath as a tool to tap into that discomfort. And take two more breaths. Awesome, and then on your next inhale, coming up, curling our toes under, coming back into our downward facing dog, doing whatever you need to do here to walk that out. Notice if one side feels a little bit different than the other. And then when you're ready, you can begin to reach the left leg up, draw that left knee in behind your left wrist. And again, come down, making sure that we're flexing our left foot. Take a peek back at that right leg, making it sure it's nice and straight. Inhale, open the chest, and then exhale, fold over the left leg. It might be different on this side too than the other. So again, just always having compassion for ourselves, honoring where you're at in your body today. Deep breaths. coming back up, coming back into our downward facing dog, and just walking that out. Awesome, and then coming down onto our knees and finding our way back into a seat on our mat. You want to lie down here, and that's more comfortable for you. I invite you to lie down. If you are okay with sitting up, you can sit on your knees or find a block underneath your sits bones just to help bring you a little bit closer to the earth. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. One hand on our belly and one hand on our heart. Let's take one breath all together here. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Now, letting go of any control you have over the breath, just tapping in to see how you feel. Giving yourself a little pat on the back for taking some time out of your busy day to stretch and breathe and feel good. I hope you enjoy today's practice. You can bring your hands up to your third eye. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.